welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a requested video all about the Floral Street brand and their entire range of fragrances. If you're new here then welcome to my channel, it's all about perfumes. I love doing videos like this about whole ranges, I have hundreds of videos so check them all out and if you're a regular here and you haven't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. So Floral Street is a British brand based in Floral Street in Covent Garden in London. It's a relatively famous street if you live here in, in London. It's a beautiful street right in the centre of Covent Garden which is right in the middle of town and it has really pretty boutique type shops on it. So um, that's why I guess it's named after that but the, all the fragrances are um, quite floral as well. It's founded by a lady called Michelle Feeney who comes from the beauty industry. I think she led MAC Cosmetics, uh, worked in Estee Lauder, those type of companies, and then decided to create her own fragrance brand. And the brand has really good sort of eco credentials. They use recycled packaging and they also don't use sexuality to sell their fragrances like so many perfumes do so it's all about sort of female empowerment the notes in here rather than anything to do with you know wearing this perfume will help you get a boyfriend <laughs> So there are eight perfumes in the range and what I've got here is the trial pack where you can try them all. Um, if you're curious I'd recommend getting these and you can see it actually has the um, cruelty free and vegan logo there, the little pink bunny rabbit. So if you're looking for a cruelty free or a vegan um, perfume brand then these ones do have that credentials. Uh, they also have the World, World Land Trust um, eco credential as well. So good credentials. So I'm going to take you through them and I think I'm going to go through my favourite through to my least favourite. I've been trying them out all week and taking notes again like I always do. Um, and I think I have a view of which my favourites are. So let's go for it. So these are all Eau de Parfums but the strengths are quite different. So my favourite one is Wonderland Peony. Now this is kind of what it says on the tin and the branding and everything. It's very pink and very peony. It has raspberry blossom in as well as that peony floral scent so really fresh and then it also has a little bit of guava in which makes it kind of fruity but overall mm, yeah it's definitely my favorite. It, it's very it's slightly sweet but it's more floral than anything and to me this is a little bit of a dupe of Misty or Eau de Toilette. It's kind of those type of lines, like a pretty peony floral with a hint of fruity sweetness in. Very feminine, very um, sweet and innocent and girly smell. And definitely um, perfect for me and my type of fragrance. So it is floral, but it's got this sweet, blossomy floraliness to it. And yeah, a more affordable way of getting that Misty or Eau de Toilette type peony vibe. My second favourite is Neon Rose. So this again is blossomy apple blossom this time. We have some jasmine, some rose in here and again some fruity peachy notes. So this one is much greener. To me it smells like, you know when you cut the stem of a flower, it kind of smells like the stem. That very green, fresh, um, citrusy almost note of, of a stem of a flower. But then it's starting to fade and more of the floral notes are coming through and the peach is starting to come through. So quite an unusual smell, not many that are like this. But if you like your green fragrances, if you like that smell of walking into a flower shop, smelling all those freshly cut flowers, that smell they release when you just cut them, then this is very similar to that, like walking into a flower shop. After a while, it also settles to become a little bit powdery as well, like the peach I think makes it a bit of a fruity powdery note. So next, I think the third favourite for me was London Poppy. This one has a lot of sunflower in, which again is quite an unusual note. You don't see that in perfumes very often at all. And again, this has that green, fresh, freshly cut flower scent to it. But I would say that this is way greener and it does genuinely smell like sunflowers. I don't know if you've ever smelled them and the seeds. It has that kind of smell so it's a little bit earthy um, and not quite as fresh as the Neon Rose. It's more of an earthy, woody scent. It also has um, some citrus notes in here but I get more of the woody, fresh, woody sunflower note. 
Personally, it's not one I would probably choose to wear because I'm not a huge sunflower fan. I don't particularly love the smell of sunflowers, but if you are looking for a sunflower perfume, then this it hits it right on the nail nail right on the head but if you like those um yeah those woody earthy green notes then this is a nice one and of course the packaging is lovely for all of these by the way they have body creams in all of these as well that you could use like a hand cream or something so if you like the smell you can get it like that as well so number four i think is the wild vanilla orchid so this one really is vanilla and orchid so in the initial spray i got a lot of that green floral orchid smell it felt very green like walking into a greenhouse but then it dried down to become really vanilla-y so this perfume probably changed the most out of all of them the vanilla is nice if you like vanilla um but it's like a green vanilla again it's it's back to the sort of floral theme the flower shop theme it's like vanilla-y floral um so again you don't see vanilla-y floral like this that much vanilla-y green floral it's not <clears throat> it's not a sweet vanilla it's a warm vanilla so this to me would be more of an autumnal smell and um, because of that warmth like a warm autumn flower so next and um, fifth place, I'm putting Ylang Ylang Espresso. Now this really does smell like espresso. It really has that coffee note in it. It also really smells of Ylang Ylang as well. So it's quite simple. It, is, it does what it says on the tin. So it, yeah, it really is like, I'd say 70% of the smell is this coffee bean, coffee, um, creamy coffee smell. It, it, it's not like a straight espresso, there's cream been put in there. And then you get this floral, but the floral is fading. So the, the ylang ylang fades and it becomes this leathery espresso in the dry down. So this is more stronger than the ones we've talked about already. Um, I'd say this is medium strength. Um, kind of like vanilla orchid actually whereas the other three the first three were more lighter and behaved almost like an eau de toilette rather than an eau de parfum so now I'm struggling to differentiate them in the order there were three in here which I kind of have in joint last place because they're just not my type of fragrance um but I'll take you through them anyway so iris goddess the purple one I found this incredibly heavy incredibly irisy if you love iris then you'll love this um this I think probably had the best projection and the best lasting power I kept smelling this for hours and hours after I'd sprayed it and I just did one spray so this one really did last so it's definitely a one for someone who's not shy and someone that really likes iris it felt a bit oriental like a creamy oriental iris kind of like a um a bulgari type fragrance you know that really strong oriental flower then black lotus again oriental with saffron in there and an oriental rose and also very leathery as well kind of like the ylang ylang espresso and um, very warm almost unisex i'd say for black lotus it feels like a at uh, the smell of like a man's jacket a, a, a suede leathery jacket with that saffron and oriental rose and then lastly we have Chypre sublime which is a true Chypre it's a great example of what a pure traditional Chypre would smell like it's patchouli rose and incense I found this very very incensey um, I found it really strong for projection and it lasted um, but I do not wear incense perfume so maybe that's why I could smell it so much on me um, but a really true pure classic Chypre nothing else going on there just you know patchouli incense rose just really really incensey to me so overall I'm really impressed with the variation in in the different scents they had ones right from really light to really heavy and it kind of covered across lots of different fragrance categories so I think even though they only have eight they're kind of covering off pretty much all the bases I think the branding and the packaging is really cool the bottles and um, have beautiful branding in them and the prices are kind of reasonable middle of the road for a niche brand so if you like them then it would be relatively inexpensive to keep repurchasing them compared to some of the designer ones um, I do really love the Wonderland Peony it's a very me I would wear this no problem and the neon rose as well so I definitely like I said would recommend Wonderland Peony for 
all you Misty Or fans out there. If you're looking for a, um, a bit of an alternative, you know, it's not an exact dupe, it's, it's an alternative, similar. So I'll leave the links as always, guys, to where you can get these. I've, I know for sure, obviously, you can get them in the UK. I'll check out if they're sold um, in other countries as well. They probably are, so I'll leave those links. Um, but let me know if you've tried these. What do you think? Do you wear any of these? Um, hopefully you found that interesting, useful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. But that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.